everybody! I'm about to get started on a 30 minute session. This is a energy parasites, implants, archon removal. It's really for anything that's energetically negative. So demons, negative entities, any, anything. And so I'm going to go ahead and read the goals and I'm going to be getting started here. Okay. Alright, this is a dark entity removal and energetic protection. Okay. Uh, dark alien threatening me. Saw what looked like a Draco. Body hurts and I can't control my thoughts. They keep saying bad things about my child. And it keeps me in fear. Please help. This has been going on for almost three years. Holy smokes. Hmm. These situations aren't fun because you have to learn how to face. You have to learn how to face the energy world. And if you don't know how to face the energy world, you're going to feel like a victim to anything that is energetically influencing your state of joy and balance. And the only thing, the only reason that can happen is if you welcome that experience into your life or, I mean, you would never be able to feel this entity if you didn't have an energetic relationship with it from some place, from some time in the infinite universe. And something inspired this connection to take place in order for your soul to grow and gain experiences, okay? I'm going to go ahead and relax and, and we'll see what we can find out about this. Okay. Um, let me just take one more time here. I just want to absorb this information just one more time. Okay. 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 All right, here we go. Well, the first thing I experience is like I'm r flying into a giant rock. And it's really hard on my heart. I mean, it's almost like a fist is like taking my heart and squeezing it really, really tight. And this is so tight. I mean, rock alone is just really compacted, right? So I got to just relax this on down and loosen this up. You know, sometimes things get worse before they get better. And so for you to reach out here after three years of time, let's see what we can do to start conquering this one, okay? Because you don't need to live like this any longer. So I'm just continuing to relax you and your energy field. Mm. I'm just touching this mountain. So let's see what the next thing is I could possibly describe here. So let's just say, let's just say we have a Draco, so like a reptilian with dragon wing type thing. Now the wings come around to it's enclosed inside, and then it creates the effect of a mountain. So that's one image that keeps like coming to my mind. But I will say that the energy right here is just sort of like a weird invisible wall. And I can only move so fast, can't force it to go down because I have to move through it, okay? So, just give me some time here to continue to analyze everything. Okay, where are you, where are you? Hmm... You, you're literally like, um... Hmm... I'm moving through this in energy barrier. It's really weird. And you're nowhere to be found, so to speak. But you're always somewhere, okay? So I'm just going to say the energy barrier is you. You know, it could be this uh, entity. It could be anything. But in the end, everything is a reflection of yourself. Everything is. So the energy barrier then is you and I am now talking to you as the energy barrier. Alright, energy barrier is wanting to hide. 
energy barriers wanting to become unknown, not discovered, not found, hidden. That would explain how you feel. You're wanting to hide, you're wanting to become unknown and not accessible by any being, not anybody. And so this energy barrier is something you actually did create in order to protect yourself. I say, well, you ha you can't keep living like this. Because when it comes to energy, anything um, can be transformed. You, you can face anything in the energy realm a lot easier, I swear to God, than facing human beings. <laughs> it's a lot easier. Because energy is transformable. You can do whatever you want with it. And you can create anything you want. You can, I mean, you created a whole energy barrier that made you invisible. And it was probably the best one I've ever come across. I can find anybody, but the energy barrier is really good that you created. Um, so you have to, I, I'm talking to your deeper essence here, encouraging you to stand up and, and not try to hide yourself. You have to choose to stand up and be known in order to actually re relieve yourself of this experience. You have to face it, full, full on face it. It's hard to face something that's hard to understand and hard to translate. Why is this happening to me? How did this happen to me? Why am I the one being targeted, etc. Um, don't ask the questions. Just say no to it, okay? It doesn't matter why, why, what, what. It just You need to just choose to say no to it. And you need to stand up to it. It's teaching how to become stronger, stronger person. And you can do it. Okay, so I'm actually going to be removing now this invisible energy barrier, okay? This is the next thing that I need to do to help you. Alright, so gosh, this is really like um, a lot of energy running up the back of my uh, neck and the lower head. This next scene, again, it's very hard to describe it. Um, it looks like obliterated. I keep thinking of the word obliterated, and it's like the mountain itself um, blew up, but it also became more compacted, and it's literally all over the place. And it's opened up into a, a room. So imagine if you took a human body and blew it up, it'd be splattered all over the place. It's like the rock splat, like the mountain splattered all over the place, and then became compacted. Um, so it's it's got a very strange effect to it. It's again a very weird energy in here too. It's a very unusual feeling. And it has again it's very similar to the invisible like uh shield. It's very similar to this. It's like trying to hide things or create a veil. All right, so we're going to do this again. Okay, so I'm going to pull all this energy in it and again I'm going to define this as you. Okay, I'm going to find the mountain as you. I'm going to find the Draco as you. I'm going to find this whole thing as you. I know that's going to be hard to process because it's n it's you're going to define this as not you because as a human being, it's that thing is now doing this thing to me, so that thing is not me doing this to me. I understand that, but in the energy world, you are actually a part of literally everything. You're part of um, people you don't even know about, alien beings you don't even know about, stars, planets, everything, literally everything and every dimension you are a part of it. So you are already within that Draco. You already are it. <laughs> so we're going to keep working, okay? So I'm pulling all this stuff together and again I am calling it you. And it becomes a very, very weird wall. Gosh, it's like, man, there's a lot of breaking down stuff going on here. And there's a very weird door. It's pretty. I mean, it's like a rounded top. And it's like two sides. You can open it up and then go inside of it. But it's a very dense, I mean, ridiculously dense rock going on in here. I mean, the, no, you are you have no breathability. I mean, it's all like no breathability with all these rocks in the way. I mean, how are you supposed to receive other enlightenments, other wisdoms and energies and love at all? Like, you, it's completely cutting you off. And I'm not going to destroy it. I'm not going to blow it up. I'm actually just going to relax this like ma massive block is a rock. <laughs> it's a giant rock. It's also a block. Okay. I'm just going to relax it on down. 
Because nothing needs to be destroyed here. We just need to have a new version of perception. And we need to relax. Pulling in your higher self here too. So I'm starting to feel a lot of love. And I'm starting to brew up in here. And it, it, there's a reason why your higher self is necessary for this. Because you've blocked so much out. You even blocked your own higher self out. Like you can't block your higher self out because you are your higher self. You may not know everything your higher self is going to know in the infinite knowing of all, <laughs> but you have to still be you, right? So bringing your higher self in here is bringing all the love that you are and the wisdom that you are back into yourself, which is going to give you the energetic power in order to totally transform this thing. Oh, it feels amazing to have your higher self in here. I mean, I, it's just the warmth. It's just the radiating warmth in a place that had become desolate. Like, nothing lives here. Rock. Obliterated rock, compounded rock, um, and everything is hidden, invisible. And nothing lives here. Nothing grows here. Can't find anybody here. Where are you at in here? That's why I'm bringing your higher self in. Now we have you here, too. And so we're just going to, okay, so your higher self is transforming into a little girl. And the little girl it doesn't speak with her mouth or voice. She's showing me something with like a crayon and piece of paper. But she can't um, tell me what it is. She can't say it, but the crayon is in red. Man, you're totally like locked in on something. Hmm. And when she writes, it's just like, um, like kind of scribble lines, you know, like maybe you would want to draw the water and it goes up and down and up and down. It's just like, looks like that, rows of that. And she can't speak. She can't, um, even tell me in writing, but she wants to tell me something. Tell her, you don't have to communicate with me in that way. You just close your eyes and show me a picture. And then we'll go into the picture, but you have to go in with me. We're going to go in together because this is your experience and I'm here to help you face it, okay? So it's weird because we're going downward all the while we're still here and it's getting really shaky, okay? So we're going like down, it's like, whoa, I mean, the energy is like really shaky, which is trembling. It's trembling. I give the energy a nice deep breath and relaxation. I mean, I'm seeing images of you and you're basically taken from yourself and put in a place that is not inside yourself. However, you're still part of your experience. So you're, I mean, you're in a prison and you're not inside yourself kind of thing. So we're going to the part of you that has been taken away from yourself and placed somewhere else, which looks like a prison, underground prison. And she tells me um, within herself, I can tell she's saying that she can't get to you. She's trying to get to you. I mean, it's the, it's the light-hearted child energy that heals all this contaminated um, stuff and she can't reach you and we are we're, it's weird dimensionally weird energetically weird like we're on an elevator and the elevator takes us to your floor but we can't move through the wall to get to you you're like um, also in a projected other dimension it's really weird and I say well does she want to come back to her body does she want to the little girl stops and she looks perplexed like, well, why wouldn't she? I say, well, she wants to be in there is what this is telling me. She's really thinking about this. Wow, something shifts and she starts to cry tears of blood. And then the version of you that's like bound up and roped up in this prison is starting to disappear. 
And that part of you becomes like the tears that she's crying out. The little girl. And the little girl starts to, face starts to rip. And it looks like a creepy looking thing on the inside. And I say, you are love. And it's just a baby. I mean, it's just like a creepy looking reptilian baby, freaky looking baby thing. Like a gargoyle, you could say. It's tiny. By the way, that really is you in that dimension. This inner child is really you. All this stuff is you. Now we got to figure out what this uh, shift in understanding means, okay? So this is a part of what is going on here. So now let me figure out what this is all about. Gosh, this place is weird. So I'm just kind of looking at this little baby here. And I snap my fingers and I say, enough! Gosh, it's like ten different dimensions and they're like, whoa, bling, like emerging and then dismerging and then they're all over the place and there's no sensation of real um, grounded I choose going on. It's like warbling all over the place. So I just say enough and then it, this needs to stop. There's only going to be one dimension here that we're going to work with in order to comprehend this whole thing. We're going to interconnect you with all the other dimensions so you can feel back to normal again. Because this is too weird. I just touched the third eye of this little gargoyle. And it turns red. And all the outer look of it um, turns to dust and falls to the ground. And it looks like a, a human baby with reptilian eyes. And I just keep placing my finger on his third eye and it turns red. And it just, it just, it's starting to turn into like what looks like a robotic instrument. Like, just like an object. And I just keep putting my finger on there and just continuing to put in, in like energy into this. It's all just sort of like turning into like a quiet thing now. It just looks like a weird shaped um, metallic object, mechanical object, technological thing. It's just a small little thing here. And I'm looking around and it's all technological all around me like uh, like little lights and things all around in here. And I'm in an oh, spherical space. So I'm going to pull this together and this here is you. So I'm going to now talk to the space itself. I'm going to see it as you and I'm going to say, what is this about? It sort of makes a hissing noise at me. And I say, I'm going to put love into you so you can find peace inside yourself. Very vicious, uh, poisonous, like, snake um, energy coming out of it. It's very poisonous. I mean, it is very, 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 very poisonous. It just keeps hissing at me. And I show it that you're the one that is afraid. You're the one. You're the one that is afraid is shifting back into whatever the thing is, okay? And the thing is actually afraid of love. Mm. It's just, it's all shifting again. I've just broken through that energy again. And it's, it's weird. I mean, the whole scene now is sort of bubbling and bowing out and ripping apart and I'm kind of going into the heart of it. it looks really weird in here. There's very much so like a a flavor of poison blood. Um, I don't know why, but it feels like poison blood everywhere, like waterfalls of it, pools of it, um, poison blood. It's all red, and there's like a purpley element that is apparently the poison. <laughs> so that's what it says to me. And I turn it all into pure angelic water. Boy, I'm starting to see, so, yeah, 
Okay, so there's lots of look, little eyeballs watching here now. I turn, I'm like, I see you, all of you. So I just start to turn them into pure angelic water. And I purify their minds and their beings. And then I turn you into pure angelic water. I turn all the energy into pure angelic water. Anything that was related to rocks, trembling, children, child with bloody tears and trying to say something, can't say anything at all. I'm transforming it all into pure angelic water. And I say there's freedom here. And it's uh, quite contained still. Like you should have access to literally the whole entire universe above, below, and all sacred directions. Like within, around, you should have access to the whole universe. You have access to like this much, like the size of a softball. That like in comparison to like so much more. I mean, you are shrunken down to the size of a softball, like energy wise. I mean, so I've got to break this down so you have access to everything. But also, you're slightly afraid of having access to everything because of what's been going on. Um, you don't want to be found by any more of these like snake poisonous um, bites and all this stuff. So you want to hide, right? But hiding is not going to solve this problem. You want to be more exposed than ever before. But you got to find the love within yourself and the power within yourself because you literally can face anything. So you just have to learn how to. Okay, a situation, I know a situation like this is probably the hardest thing because nobody, there's very few people on, on the planet you'll be able to talk to that will have a clue um, and that won't think you're crazy, right? This is a real energy jacked up thing you got going on here. Um, but we're actually making amazing progress, just so you know. And if none of this makes any sense, um, or if it does make sense, just... Just let it flow, okay? This is my way of interpreting energy and helping you. And this is totally breaking down layers and getting the love back into yourself and facing some things, okay? We're just doing it together. This is my calling to do to help you in this way. Okay. So now that we can tell that this is like way too small for your size, uh, we need to find a way to break it down. We need to help you grow like out of this big time. And it's kind of unknown to you how you're supposed to do that. I, I just tell you, you already are a part of everything. You already are. You're part of literally every one of these beings. You've already possessed them with your love. So they're full of your love. And they if they're afraid of love, then man, they should be terrified because you've infected them with your love. And they need to receive that love or they need to hide from you, I guess. <laughs> but this whole place is full of love and you're full of love and the whole universe is full of love and you're literally a part of all the love of the whole universe. And you want to be seen because you want to be a part of that love. You don't want to hide from all of this. It's what you are made out of. It's what you are. It's helping you to disperse your energy in a healthy, balanced way. See, I'm starting to feel the trembling um, taking place because um, you have you have t t hidden yourself. I mean, you have... you. I, I can find people that are a tiny little speck. You created energy force fields and dimensions and weird layers to make it so you're undetectable. But yet, this is still happening to you. And how is that possible? No matter what you do, it's not going to wait until you become extremely accessible to it, embrace it, and say, I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not afraid of you, and I can think for myself now. And you're full of my love. And now my love is dispersing throughout your body, throughout your mind, and my thoughts, my positive loving thoughts are now part of your mind, and now you're thinking my positive loving thoughts and I can't stop thinking about love and sunshine and happy memories and smiling and butterflies and flowers and thriving worlds. I can't stop wanting to drink this angelic water and now I see you're drinking angelic water and it's purifying your, your senses. There's no more poison within you. You just start saying this stuff and it changes the relationship, the energy relationship. Because you're already a part of that thing, okay? And that thing has no power over you unless you give it away because you're afraid, right? So now that you know this secret, now you can swap turns, okay? So it had its fun, now you're going to have your fun. But you can do it with love because that's the truth. 
this isn't lying to anybody. This is just simply the truth. Okay? So I'm saying this stuff because I'm pushing it through you and into the thing. Okay? And all the things that are watching, they can have some of this love too because they're full of love. They can hide from love all they want as well. And they can take from take, 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 take from others. Um, but in the end, they're exposed now. They're exposed. And you are exposed too. Because the only way to expose them is to expose yourself and to face them without fear. Because you're the powerful one here. They should be terrified of you. Because you are full of love. So let's see. So I can tell your heart's still like really starting to get bright and it's expanding you. It's breaking down this. I mean, man, you put yourself in the tiniest little eye compartment. It's anyway, that's all just it's stretching out and stretching thin and falling away, okay? And you're getting a lot brighter. I mean, there's still more layers. Like, there's still so much more growth that you can do here. There's still, like, lots and lots of layers. Like, it's still, like, there's so much further that we could expand you. <sighs> okay, so what's this? What's this next thing here? Okay, now we're to the next phase, okay? So this experience has been going on for three years, so there's going to be levels to it, okay? So we got, we've got broken through some of these levels. Now there's the next phase of it. There's the next level here that we're going to go into and check it out. It's another doorway. And it's quiet. It's very silent. A strange being here on the other side, any sort of levitating, he has a massive head, and he's made out of dark, made out of black, and he literally has it like a his he has arms and legs and torso, and it's like he look I can see him very clearly as skin, but it's all black, like but it looks like a metallic black color to it, but it's his skin, it's skin, and he has a really like. He has a huge head. He has a very huge head. He's just levitating in this space. And he's kind of got his eyes closed. He's sort of in a meditative way. It's kind of what he looks like. And this is a big orb, a sphere, a spherical space that he's in. And I say, what do you have to do with this whole situation? I just pop this place because, again, I mean, I'm just going to see this as yet another illusion. So show me what's really here. Stop hiding. Hmm. Again, this is, okay, so it is uh, it is a spherical space. That being, I just popped it like a balloon and the being just goes, Whoosh, and now I'm starting to see more of the reality. And it's kind of like red soil, um, it's kind of what it looks like. And it's all, it's a spherical space, so it's on the ceiling, the floor and everything. It's just like a warped scene. So like the ground is warped all the way around you. But there's a space here, I mean there's air, there's atmosphere in here somehow. It's almost like the ground warped around you. It's the at you're in the center of the atmosphere, but it's not balanced. This is really distorting on the mind. I mean, I'm telling you, it is really... It's almost like it takes your third eye and makes you swallow it down. <laughs> it's really, really weird and um, distorted, distorted energy. And I say no. And when I force this to become the ground, it, um, it gets really dried up like I'm cracking a board into two pieces. So I hear cracking of like breaking bones sounds. And it starts to act like a Venus flytrap. You actually deep down inside you have parts of yourself that are familiar with this place and they define this as safe this is a safe space but the reality of it is it's really you're just putting yourself in a venus flytrap so again sometimes we create what we think is what we want i need to hide i need to become invisible so you actually did create that on the energy side of things 
um, I need a space to go into where nobody can get to me. So now you create this, but it's literally just, it's going to be the coffin, you know? So you, that's, that's the wrong direction. You, it's the wrong direction. You have to embrace the experience, face it, and you have to learn a new way, okay? New language, new psychic experiences. I mean, this is psychic development stuff going on here. Don't, you can do this. I mean, you're psychically capable of having this experience. You can turn this experience inside out with your psychic ability. You just have to understand what the power of love is. And just standing there and looking at it eye to eye. And don't move. You don't even have to say anything. Just let your higher self generate the wisdom. You don't have to say anything. You can just stand there. And that is your way of saying, I'm done with this now. And you don't even have to say anything. You just stand there and look at it in the eye. And just stand there. And no matter what it says, no matter what it does, just let it freak out. And you're just, no. I stand my ground. I'm standing my ground. That's a powerful gesture. So this, I'm breaking this down because this is also going to just contain you again. But you you can't even imagine how far we've come from where we started. So this is just another level of what you created in order to keep yourself safe. But it ends up being the opposing effect, okay? Um, so I just broke that down now because you don't need that. Okay, the next thing they're showing me, this is a lot of energy congestion here in emotional gut and sexual body. So the whole digestive region area, like this whole gut area, is uh, got some interconnected stuff going on. Um, I'm just starting to put you back together again is kind of what this is like. You're really doing a great job. <laughs> You do an impressive job. <laughs> it you really are, cause I cause I can see you choosing to listen, choosing to process, and trying. You're trying, um, it's amazing. I mean, it's really amazing. Um, your strengths, <laughs> and you're seeing now what I'm seeing here, and you're starting to understand something, and you you literally are taking the building blocks of your own essence and bringing them back into yourself. You are actually calling out to all the fragmented parts of you that you you did this because the experience was so traumatizing. So you're calling all to those fragmented parts and you're pulling them all back into yourself because you're going to need all of you. You you should be whole. You should be whole, right? So you take all of you and now you can really be a force to reckon with, right? And we're talking about pure love. Hugs and snuggles is a force to be reckoned with when it comes to a poisonous snake in the energy realm. Hugs and snuggles. Poisonous snakes are freaked out by that stuff. <laughs> You're just too beautiful and you too immaculate. You're just too... I mean, you're absolutely radiant here. And I can see how radiant you are. And this is interesting because, you know, believe it or not, I will define this as you chose to have this experience. You actually asked specifically um, to have this experience so you could be broken down. All right? You could be totally broken down and then become reborn from it. And now you're like jaw-dropping amazing energy. You're stunning. You have stunning stunning energy and so it's you're in a rebirth you're totally in a rebirth you you are rebirthing so whether you feel it today or next year you are in the rebirthing process here and I am witnessing it and it's flawless it's jaw-dropping it's that stunning it's spectacular with beyond words and it's radiating, and it, you're a total healer. You could be a total natural healer. And I can feel like um, it's glittery and diamondy, and it's like a, a liquid of loving, pure loving energy. And it sparkles. It sparkles. You're still um, wobbling between the contamination of all that manipulation of what the experience was and the trauma because it takes time to recover from something like this, okay? Um, you're going to have echoes and things like that. It takes time to recover. But um, 
I mean, so I'm seeing like this amazing you and um, so here's this amazing you and you're like sending healing energy to me. <laughs> like You're going to heal me right now with your immaculate energy. It's like, wow. Um, all the while you have this part of your humanness that is observing this and is like kind of getting trembly again. But But my healing energy is probably contaminated by this poisonous snake. No, I don't know anything about a poisonous snake. So you you don't know anything about that either because that was whatever what was. It was just some weird dream. But it felt like reality and it really did take three years of our version of reality. That it was just a weird dream, but you're totally zero contamin contaminated. This part of you is so beautiful. All right, you still have more to reconcile in here, okay? Um, I will say we have gone like leaps and bounds from step one, like the beginning of this, leaps and bounds forward, okay? Leaps and bounds. There, there's going to be more work to do because this is an extreme experience, but you've, you're collecting and you have collected yourself. And you are understanding this deep down inside, which is giving you the trigger switch to change your behavior and the way that you've been approaching this experience. There's nothing that you need to be afraid of. And it's okay for you to trust that there's literally nothing for you to be afraid of. And it's safe for you to take a step forward and use your psychic gifts to take a look at what you saw that Draco, that's your translation of that energy. Because in the end, it's all just energy. <laughs> but then it takes a form and it happens to look like this, okay? It's going to look like something different for me as it would for you because it's all energy, okay? But that energy could really be a real reptilian. It doesn't matter because this is an entirely energetic experience. So it's the difference is if you, you're roped up by a human being that has a gun to your head, that's a little bit different than I'm a human being and then an energetic experience is happening to me and no and it's in the air. It's in the very air. You actually can face it. You actually can transform it. You can say no to it and you don't have to block yourself. You can just stand there and be as radiant as ever because you are. You're like so radiant. You would you would literally disintegrate anything. <laughs> you're that radiant. Anything that is that is um, f comes from fear, which is a delusionary realms and and what you're going through, <laughs> it feels like it has a hold over you. Oh man, it would just be it would be like really tiny and scary away as fast as it can, because <laughs> that's your true self is so so radiant. Um. I just see um, at the end of this here. I mean, I just see that there's. Um, there's a process of, of getting through all that you've been through and to learn how to face it even more. But my gosh, you, your energy is a really warm for me to feel. Um, it feels like we've achieved some really amazing things today. And it's going to help give you a new ground to stand on. Okay? All right. You're awesome. Thank you so much for the opportunity to help you. It's a true honor. I'm really glad I can be here for you. And thank you for sharing on YouTube because it helps other people going through similar experiences to understand how they too can face those experiences without fear. Because see, I can go in and face those experiences without fear. And it's totally safe for me because I, I accept your soul is, is going through these experiences. This is your choice. So I'm not attaching to your experiences. I'm just simply going in and helping your deeper essence to um, face it and conquer it. And we just do it together as friends. And that gives you the edge you need to keep going. And you, you can totally go conquer this. Yeah, totally. All right. Thank you again. And for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you all for watching. I wish you all a wonderful day.